This question is about moments, and we should all know this, that the moment of a force is the force times the perpendicular distance to the point about which the force is turning, um, usually called a pivot. In this case, the pivot point is the tip of there, the, the um, triangle there. And we've got three forces to think about. We've got the weight of the first, the big person, the weight of the little person, and we've also got the weight of the plank. And that acts through the center of gravity of the plank, which if it's four meters uh, in length, it means the center of the gravity is two meters. So the distance to the pivot in this case is 1.1 meter. So we've got to find this distance. And the thing that we remember, if it's in equilibrium, which it is, then the turning effect in one direction in this case clockwise, has got to be equal to the turning effect in the other direction, anti-clockwise. And what we need to do now is just put the forces in and see which ones are turning which direction. This force on the left is turning anti-clockwise. Are there any other anti-clockwise forces? No, there aren't. So anti-clockwise, we've just got the mass of the big person which actually they've given us the weight already, so it's 950 newtons is already the force, times the distance, 0.9 meters. Now that's going to be the anti-clockwise moment, and the clockwise moment is going to be this force that we don't know. We know the force actually um, is 650 newtons, but we don't know the distance, so we'll write 650 newtons times x meters and we're going to add another turning force because it's also in the clockwise direction due to the plank and the plank has a weight of 250 newtons up there so plus 250 newtons times and we do know this distance it's 1.1 meters because it's from the center of the plank to the pivot point um, and we worked that out because we took 0 0.9, which is the distance from the end. Okay. Um, and so we just rearrange these equations and then we solve for x. So let's do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave 650 um, newtons times x meters on this side. And I'm going to take the other guy across to the other side. And we'll have 950 newtons times 0 0.90 meters. And because we've taken it to the other side, it changes sign, 250 newtons times 1.1 meters. So let's do that on our calculator so we can practice this. 950 times 0 0.9 equals 855 minus 250 times 1.1 gives us 580 newton meters that's the unit and so so now we can say that x meters is equal to 580 newton meters divided by 650 newtons and you'll see obviously in this case that newtons cancel out which means that we have our answer meters which is what we want and we do the divide by 650 and we get x is equal to 0.89 meters. So the distance x, x equals 0.89 meters. There you go. The next part of it, oh, that's it. That's all this question is. So it's nice and simple.